it's November, which means it's time for October's Scrawler Box. Hello everyone, so let's open this. I do think I have an idea about who's the featured artist of this box, so I'm very excited. Ah, uh, yes, I see purple. It's waffles. I'm pretty sure if you're into the artist community here on YouTube, you have heard of Drawing with Waffles. I did know that Rin was the featured artist of this box, but I have no clue what's inside, so let's check it out. I've been following Rin for quite a while now, so I'm pretty sure there should be a needed eraser in here. Ooh, so pretty! We got a purple scrawler sticker. Yeah, there's the needed eraser, I knew it. It's a Lyra needable eraser. <laughs> Knet gummy. So many things, what is this? Yay, and we got a little enamel scrawler pin. That is so cute. A special gift for you to celebrate our 50th box. Wow, is it 50 boxes? That is amazing. I've been here since box four or something. Yeah, happy 50th box, scrawler box. And our treat for this box is Parma Violet. I love that everything is purple in this box. Mm, so delicious. A little soapy, perhaps. Hm. I'm a little annoyed that it won't close though. All right, so we have a Faber-Castell Dressing 2000 HP pencil, and I wonder what's special with this one. It's a regular graphite pencil. Actually, let's try out the supplies while I'm showing them to you. These papers are from Canson, and they are apparently called The Wall, so yep, it's a graphite pencil. Oh, it's not called Dressing, it's called Dessin. Oops. While I'm at it, let's try out the kneaded eraser. Oh, it feels very soft. Ugh, like spider webs. It's picking up the graphite, so it's doing its job. I'm so excited about these, I love Copics. This is the Copic Purple Doodle Pack. So we have a Copic Multiliner in the color Wine, size 0.3. Oh, that's a pretty color. Then we have two Copic Chow Markers in the colors BV04 and BV00. And they got brush nibs at one end and chisel nibs at the other end. I love the Copic brush nibs, they are so soft and flexible. And then this mysterious glittery pen. At you, Spisa. Is that what it says? At you, at you, at you. Bless you. That's an interesting nib. It is like a plastic tip, kind of. Oh, that is so pretty. Everything that is glittery reminds me of my childhood. Then finally, we have this Derwent paint pen in the color white, obviously, in the size 0.5. Ah, and it's got this little nib where you pump out the paint with. Oh, there it is. Doesn't smell that great, but it looks like it is quite opaque. So yeah, that are all of the supplies in October's Scrawler Box. Let's check out what the prompt word is. So the Scrawler Challenge is dressed to the nines. I have no idea what that means, to be honest. I'm reading here, Rin says she has been inspired by outfit of the days and fashion a lot lately, so why not recreate your individual dress style or interpret what you are wearing today into a completely purple outfit. Looks like we're supposed to design a purple outfit, so yeah, let's do that, I guess. I actually struggled a bit with this prompt, surprise, surprise. I think I say that every time. I do like to draw characters, but I suck at drawing clothes and stuff like that, which probably means that I need to practice on it. I think I had a bad art day too, because everything I drew that day felt weird and wonky and not good at all. So I just left it for the day, and then I came back the day after, and then I actually managed to create 
create something that I felt happy with. So I guess I just needed to rest my brain a little. And yes, it is a witch, and yes, she has a cat. My imagination well is a little shallow at the moment, but I'm working on it. Also, I know now why this paper is called The Wall. I tried to trace the sketch from the iPad as I usually do, but no light at all could get through this paper. It is supposed to be a double-sided type of paper, I think, where you can draw with markers on both sides of it. So maybe that is why it is so dense and no light at all can get through it. Anyway, as I said before, I had struggled so much with this drawing already and I just didn't want to redraw the sketch again, so I decided to go with my own regular Bristol board instead. It also gave me a little more space to draw on, since this paper is slightly bigger than the one that came in the scrawler box. I would like to take a little moment and say Thank you guys, my happy cats, for still being here, watching my videos, supporting my channel. This whole year, my channel has been kind of dying, but now, the last months, I have finally found my content creator spirit once again, and it seems like you guys have really been enjoying what I've been putting out there, which makes me so, so happy and motivated. My upload schedule is still a little wonky at the moment, but I'm really trying to post regularly, regu regularly, regularly, from now on, even if I may miss a week here or there, because my life is totally upside down right now, in both a good way and in a less good way, but don't worry, I'll be fine. And I'm really thinking about what could be fun for you to watch and what is fun for me to make. I think it is so fun making videos again. Also, we are so, so close to 300,000 subscribers. We have been close to 300 for years now, it feels like, so it would be so amazingly super awesome if we could get there before Christmas at least, so if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and also click that little bell icon to get notified every time I post new art and videos. Leave a like, perhaps? Thank you! I had so much fun with the line art for this one. The Copic multiliners are so soft and nice to draw with, which makes me wonder why I don't use them more often, but then on the other hand, I do have my favorites. But it was nice to draw with another color than just black. And it is a pretty good line art color too, this wine reddish purple, since it is a little darker, so the graphite won't really show through it. And I'm really sorry if my head is bumping in and out of frame all the time. Every time I do more detailed work, like line art for example, I need to almost put my nose on the paper to be able to focus. Since I don't have that many colors to work with, I need to make sure that I don't make two areas that are right next to each other in the same color so that they don't blend together. So I decided to make her top thingy all in the fine liner wine reddish color. And then she's wearing like a see-through shirt underneath the top, which I made in the lighter purple. And then I made the pants in the dark violet bluish purple color. And I I think the top looked really great when I had only made the line art, but when I started to add the dark violet right next to it, it didn't look that great anymore. I didn't like that the pants looked darker than the top, so I ended up going over the top, ha, over the top with a dark violet, and I think that helped a lot. I had a lot of fun working with these two colors. I am always happy when I get to work with markers, especially if they're purple. 
and I know the pose is a little weird. Her lower body compared to her upper body is twisted in a way that I think you have to be very flexible to do. But she is a witch though and her familiar is a cat. So maybe she has picked up some cat-like qualities. And the arm to the left is a little too long, I think. But I think she turned out super cute and a little stylish, I suppose. I mean, wearing cats always makes you stylish. I used the glitter pen to fill in her earrings and her finger rings. And I also used it to make polka dots on her shirt. Just to create a little bit of different texture since I knew I I was gonna have to use the same purple color for the background and I wanted to keep them separated. I really like this box, it is right up my alley with the markers and the purple. The only art supply I didn't like was the white paint pen. It was super difficult to use for some reason. You are supposed to pump out the paint to the pen nib, which I did, but I could only use it for a short time. Then I had to pump out even more paint once again. You also have to keep it totally upright vertically or else there wouldn't come out any paint at all. But then all of a sudden it just spewed out all of the paint on me so I guess it was having a bad day or something. So it was a little tricky to work with so yeah I do prefer my trusty old Uniball Signo gel pens. So yeah, I think this girl turned out super cute. It got a little bit of waffles vibe. I think it is the nose. I hope you enjoyed this video and sorry again for the weird upload schedule at the moment. It will be better, I promise. So thanks Scrawlerbox as usual for sending me these boxes and thank you guys for watching. I hope I will see you next time. Keep drawing my happy cats. Bye!